Now here's the thing, cost saving is a long term game. You will win the game if you have the right tools to play the game. Whoever stays in the game longer wins. Hi, Andy here. Today, we're going to look into four tactics to improve the hygiene and reduce the operating cost for your business. All right, if lockdown continue to relax, more businesses reopen their doors for employees and customers. Individuals like you and me become increasingly more comfortable going out, right? Over the past year, everyone knows the importance of hygiene in helping to curb the transmission. The importance of hygiene here not only do enhance the hygiene measure to improve health, and safety, but also reassure those visitors coming to your facility that they are safe. Now, whether you accept it or not, this very sense of safety and reassurance make your customer and employees walk through those open doors over and over again every day. Now, with improved hygiene to help your business to reopen, reducing and reviewing those operating costs would be one of the key exercises that you might have done that would impact your bottom lines but one of the areas you might overlook is to improve hygiene and also provide real cost saving in long term the first tactic change of consumables is there using a liquid hand soap try change to a foam system to reduce the usage and wastage because foam soap is less likely to drip and dribble when they are in use. Also, many studies support paper towel able to remove bacteria after hand wash and reduce contamination. Instead of using the pulp paper towel, try the brown paper towel. It's cost less, same effectiveness. The second tactic, install automated or touchless dispenser and fixtures. Touchless water tap and flush system. Automatic dispenser for hand soap, sanitizer, and paper towel all sounds like a fancy and heavy investment, right? Let's take a look the other way around. Automated water tap control the flow of the water which helps to reduce the usage and wastage. Whereas automated dispenser help to control the size and amount of the product being dispensed. You guess it, which is also help to reduce the usage and wastage on those products. The third tactic, get the proper training. Now you have the right tools to play the game, but do you have the right skills to play the game? Training can help you to get the most out of your investment by making sure your building manager or yourself to gain expertise for a short period of time from the specialized manufacturer or distributor. So that brings us to the last tactic, find the right partner. Okay, you can't do the same thing and expect a different result, right? Now the goal here is improve hygiene and reduce the operating cost. The questions that you need to ask are, is there any technology or product that can produce a better result at a lower operating cost? Or were you just using the wrong products all this while? Now the right manufacturer and distributor that you collect must be able to understand your goals and needs and keep your goals in mind and help you to achieve those goals in the most cost effective ways possible. Now here's the thing, cost saving is a long term game. You will win the game if you have the right tools to play the game. Whoever stays in the game longer wins. No one implement a cost saving plan for two months. That's not a plan, that's just a temporary measure and it is a bad one. I'll put the link up if you want to save some electricity bill by using the latest cleaning equipment technology. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.